Spiritual reality takes you through a unique journey. A journey which will change your life. A journey which will enrich you and make you knowledgeable and blissful. Spiritual reality is an exploration on meditation and meditative experiences. As you listen to these sounds and this voice, be totally relaxed. Just witness it. Just flow with it. Don't try to analyze it. Totally be with it. If any thought comes, cut the thought. Take a deep breath and just be with it. It is just for you. In this whole creation, we are just a small speck. Each one of us is in search of good health, peace, knowledge, prosperity, and overall a happy and blissful life at all given times and situations. Each and every person strives hard to achieve this state. But can this really be achieved? Yes, this can be achieved. All this is possible only by understanding cosmic energy and self-knowledge. Now let us go into cosmic energy. Cosmic energy exists everywhere in the cosmos. It is the bond between the galaxies, the planets, humans, and molecules. It is the space between each and everything. It is the bond which keeps the entire cosmos in order. Cosmic energy is the life force. This energy is essential to maintain the order of all life and to expand our consciousness. Cosmic energy is the base of all our actions and functions. We receive some amount of cosmic energy in deep sleep and in total silence. We are using this energy for the day-to-day -day activities of our mind, such as speaking, hearing, thinking, and all the actions of our body. This limited energy gained through sleep is not sufficient for these activities. That is why we often feel exhausted, tired, and tense. This leads to mental and physical stress and all kinds of illnesses. The only way to overcome this is to get more and more cosmic energy. This cosmic energy is essential to maintain order in our life, to lead a healthy and happy life, to be totally involved in all situations we are in, to obtain knowledge, and finally, for the expansion of our consciousness. Abundant cosmic energy is only obtained through meditation. And meditation, without exception, is available to all ages, all genders, all ethnicities, all cultures, and all faiths. Sleep is unconscious meditation. Meditation is conscious sleep. In sleep, we get limited energy. In meditation, we get abundant energy. This energy enhances the power of our body, mind, and intellect. It opens the doors for our sixth sense and beyond. With this boosted energy through meditation, we will be relaxed, healthy, and happy. It also helps us reach greater heights in the physical realm. Meditation is nothing but a journey of consciousness towards the center. In meditation, we consciously travel from body to mind, 
mind to intellect, intellect to self, and beyond. To do meditation, first we have to stop all functions of our body and mind. That is, body movements, seeing, speaking, and thinking. Now, let us review how to do meditation. For meditation, the first thing is the posture. You may sit in any posture. The posture must be very comfortable and stable. We can meditate either on the floor or on a chair. We can meditate in any place wherever we feel comfortable. Sit comfortably. Cross your legs. Clasp your fingers. Now, close your eyes. Stop inner or outer chatter. Don't chant any mantras. Just relax. Totally relax. Just relax. When we cross our legs and clasp our fingers, energy circuits are formed that give more stability. Eyes are doors to the mind, so eyes should be closed. Mantra chanting or any chattering, inner or outer, and other activities of the mind should all be stopped. When body relaxes, consciousness travels to the next zone. Mind can't enter it. Mind is nothing but a bundle of thoughts. There are numerous thoughts always coming to the surface of the mind. Whenever thoughts surface in the mind, we may get many questions, known or unknown. To transcend the mind and intellect, one has to observe the breath. Observation is the nature of the self. So, one should just witness the breath. Don't do conscious breathing. Don't inhale or exhale consciously. Let inhalation and exhalation happen on its own. Just observe the normal breathing. This is the main key. This is the way. Don't go behind the thoughts. Don't cling to questions, comments, or thoughts. Cut the thought. Come back to the breath. Observe normal breathing. Be with your breath, and then the density of the thoughts reduces. Slowly, breath becomes thinner and shorter. Finally, the breath becomes small and settles like a flash in between the eyebrows. In this state, one will have no breath and no thought. We will be totally thoughtless. This state is called normalcy or no thought state. This is the meditative state. In this state, we will be under the shower of cosmic energy. The more meditation one does, the more cosmic energy one receives. This cosmic energy flows through the energy body. It is also called the etheric body. The energy body forms with more than 72,000 nadis or energy tubes, which run all across the body. All these energy tubes start from the top of the head region. This region is called Pramarandra. These nadis spread throughout the body, like roots and shoots of a plant. The energy body is the main base for the design of our life. This energy body is the main source of all our actions and even our existence. Our energy body receives cosmic energy during deep sleep and meditation. We are using this energy for our body and mind activities like seeing, speaking, hearing, thinking, and all physical actions. All these functions are totally based on the incoming cosmic energy. The inflow of cosmic energy is purely based on our thoughts. 
When we have thoughts, the inflow of cosmic energy is obstructed. In other words, our thoughts are the stumbling blocks for the inflow of cosmic energy. When the inflow of cosmic energy is less, the energy in the energy tubes depletes. This depletion causes etheric patches in the energy body. These etheric patches gradually lead to diseases in the physical body. In other words, the root of all diseases is the lack of energy in the etheric body. In meditation, we get abundant cosmic energy. It flows through all our energy tubes of the energy body. When cosmic energy is passing through energy tubes, because of its heavy flow, it cleanses all etheric patches. When etheric patches are cleansed, we come out of all our illnesses. When energy starts flowing through the Pramarandra, we feel heaviness in the head region, or heaviness of the whole body. When energy is cleansing the energy tubes in a particular region, we may get itching sensations or pain in that region. Sometimes, we may experience pain in various places in the physical body. For these pains, do not take any medication. Any such pains will vanish by doing more meditation. By intake of more and more cosmic energy through meditation, we come out of all physical and mental illness. If we meditate inside the pyramid, meditative states can be achieved three times faster than normal. Let us now explore the pyramid and pyramid power. Pyramid is the most stable structure which receives the highest cosmic energy in this planet Earth. Pyramid forms at an angle of 52 degrees, 51 minutes, and because of this angle, it receives the highest cosmic energy. Pyramid can be constructed with any material. Materials make no difference in the receiving of the cosmic energy. Pyramid has to be aligned to perfect cardinal directions. North, South, East, and West. Cosmic energy gets accumulated at one-third height from the base of the pyramid. This place is known as the King's Chamber. Cosmic energy will be maximum in the King's Chamber, and it spreads throughout the pyramid. A crystal fixed at the apex of the pyramid multiplies and distributes the cosmic energy throughout the pyramid. The normal sea state is attained three times faster if one meditates inside the pyramid. The pyramid can be used for communication with higher frequencies. Meditation in the pyramid helps in healing and all meditative experiences. Now, let us go through once again what we have understood so far. Meditation is a journey towards the self. For this, we have to transcend the body and mind. By assuming a comfortable posture, our body totally relaxes. And this facilitates transcending the body consciousness. By observing our normal breathing, we transcend the mind. When we transcend the body and mind, then the cosmic energy flows. Cosmic energy cleanses all illnesses of the body. Therefore, we will be healthy without any medicine. More and more cosmic energy releases all the tensions and stress of the mind. As we practice more and more meditation, the mind becomes calm and has more space. This leads to higher memory power. More and more meditation leads to higher understanding capabilities. Then it leads to good interpersonal relationships. 
Meditation enhances the happiness of family life. The mind will be tranquil. Meditation makes you healthy and blissful. Meditation helps us get all answers to all our questions. To achieve this and more, meditation should be practiced every day. Meditation can be done at any place and any time. In one sitting, meditation should be done for a time equal to one's age. For instance, a 30-year-old man should meditate at least 30 minutes in one sitting. For meditation, you need not leave the family life. Everyone should do meditation. Children are the best meditators. They can start meditation by the age of five. For meditation, you need not go search for any guru or master. The guru, the master, is within. Your breath is your guru. Your breath is your master. It is for everyone. Meditation is the journey of our consciousness towards the self. To do meditation, we have to transcend the body and mind. When we transcend the body and mind, we reach the self. Then we receive abundant cosmic energy. By more meditation, our self-knowledge expands. Now, let us try and understand what is knowledge. Meditation takes you into the realms of higher knowledge. Knowledge is nothing but experience. Experience is nothing but totally involving yourself. By practicing more and more meditation, we receive higher energy. With this higher energy, higher involvement is achieved in every aspect, which leads to higher knowledge. Through knowledge, we get higher understanding and wisdom. With this understanding, we understand that we are not just the body and mind. We understand that we are miraculous beings. We understand all the situations we come across and come out of all our problems by higher understanding. Higher energy and higher knowledge expands the consciousness. Expansion of the consciousness is the very purpose of the self. Higher knowledge is obtained only through higher senses like the third eye and astral body. The third eye is a very powerful tool of the soul. To see, to feel, and to hear the higher frequency realities, these three functions of the soul are known as third eye. By practicing more and more meditation, more energy flows. More energy activates the third eye. It is a great experience for a meditator. At the time of activation of the third eye, we feel an itching sensation or pulling sensation at the forehead region. We start seeing glimpses of various colors rotating around us. We hear murmuring sounds, sounds of walking. We feel as if we are traveling in a pitch dark tunnel. When the etheric body gets sufficient cosmic energy, by more and more meditation, our third eye gets perfected. Here we perceive crystal clear visions of this plane and other planes. In third eye perfection, we see many things clearer than their physical versions. We see other frequency realities. We see the things which are not present in the realm of the five senses. We feel so many things which we cannot express with words. We hear inner voices, sounds, or sounds of instruments from other frequencies. We see masters who are not there physically with us. We see masters 
in a physical form as we know them. After more meditation, we start seeing the master as a bright light. Even while seeing the bright light, we feel the identity of the master. We can hear the messages from the masters. We feel like moving in a tunnel and finally merging with the light. Through third eye experiences we know we can get answers for all our problems through messages from the masters or by seeing other frequency realities or as a feeling. By this, our actions will change. Our beliefs will change. Our understanding will change. After this third eye experience, we find changes in our perception of this physical plane. Now, let us know the other tool of the self, which is the astral body. Astral body is a tool of the self to perceive other frequency realities. Astral body is just one more form of our consciousness, just like our physical body. In normal conditions, our consciousness is spread throughout our physical body. When we receive a sufficient amount of energy and when we feel to perceive other frequency realities, consciousness moves in the form of the astral body. We perceive astral body experiences unconsciously in our sleep, which we call dreams. One can perceive astral body experiences consciously in meditation. Astral body travels beyond space and time. After conscious astral experiences, we start perceiving new dimensions. In meditation, after receiving abundant cosmic energy, the consciousness which is spread everywhere in the body starts moving towards a point. While consciousness is moving, we experience jerks in the physical body. We feel as if our body is floating. We don't feel the hands and legs. We feel a lightness of the body, like a feather. Movements may be experienced in different parts of the body, or sometimes one may experience the whole body as if it is rotating. These are known as astral movements. By practicing more and more meditation, we get more cosmic energy. The consciousness takes the form like an astral body and starts rotating very fast, which causes heavy movements. After the movements, the astral body starts coming out of the physical body with a link called silver cord. The silver cord is nothing but a high vibrant consciousness which transfers the messages of the physical body to the astral body and vice versa. With this, we do astral travel. Astral travel is a travel of our consciousness to known and unknown places and frequencies. By doing astral travel, we get highest knowledge and understanding of the self. In astral travel, our astral body can pass through all physical materials. All elements like earth, water, fire, wind, and ether. Astral body can go to all other frequencies without any limitations. After coming out of the body, the meditator sees his or her own physical body and by this, he or she gains understanding. One understands that one is not just the body and mind. This is a great understanding. Everyone should experience astral travel. By experiencing astral travel, our limitedness will vanish. And we will understand that we are unlimited. By this experience, we understand that we are the consciousness. We understand that we are unlimited. We understand the new dimensions of life. By practicing more and more meditation, we will receive more cosmic energy. 
cosmic energy improves our involvement in whatever we are in. By more and more total involvement with body, mind, and self, we understand in total about the situations. This understanding is nothing but knowledge. The common person will get only experience, but fail to perceive the knowledge in that situation. It is because he or she experiences the situation with physical understanding alone, but a meditator will understand the situation in total. It is so because they know that they are not just the body. They understand that the situations are for their evolution. After experiencing all meditative experiences and implementing it in our practical life, we will get great understanding. This understanding opens several thousand doors, which gives new dimensions of perceptions in our life. Our understanding, our perception, and our knowledge expands. This leads to the expansion of our consciousness, which is nothing but having wisdom. We experience the state of wisdom as a thousand petal golden lotus. Each and every petal is a new dimension of understanding. By perceiving more and more dimensions, we understand more and more knowledge of other existences. With this understanding, we come to know that there is no death and we are eternal beings. We understand what is birth and what is death. We come to this earth plane as a speck of cosmic consciousness. While coming from the source, we come with the etheric body as a structure of the self. We come to this earth plane to have unique experiences. For our experiences, we select the womb. We select the parents, environment, and situations. The whole design of life is known to the self. After selecting the mother, speck of consciousness enters the mother's womb. After consciousness enters the mother's womb, the fetus gets life. The physical body takes the shape according to the cosmic energy in the etheric body and the cause. Consciousness will be traveling frequently to the source until it takes its first breath. After coming out of the mother's womb, it takes its first external breath. This is known as birth. From day one till the age of seven, we will have awareness of the source. The mind starts taking its shape from the age of seven and completely forms by age 14. The intellect starts its activation from the age of 14 and is fully developed by the age of 21. From the age of 21 to the age of 28, one experiences the combination of body, mind, and intellect. From the age of 28, life depends on self-knowledge. For those who do not have awareness of the self, their consciousness lies in between body and mind. Because of this, misery starts. They cannot understand their situations. Things will become more critical for them. They lull themselves into concealed rigidness. Rigidness blocks the cosmic flow. Due to this, they suffer physical illness, stress, and tensions. They pass the days without awareness. They cannot understand the very purpose of their life. They pass from childhood days to youth to old age and finally pass away from this earth plane without completing the purpose of coming to the earth plane. This is what we call death. Even after death, the layer of rigid mind 
with wrong understanding does not allow the consciousness to reach source. Because of the wrong understanding, they create their own hell and heaven and stay as a lower astral being. If one starts one's life being with the self, one will always be blissful in all given situations. Even after death, one won't be in the lower frequencies. One will go back to the source. By obtaining higher knowledge through the third eye, astral travel, knowledge of birth and death, one will have perfect understanding of body, mind, intellect, self, and life force. One understands that the consciousness is a combination of energy and knowledge. Consciousness comes to this plane to gain more energy and knowledge and to create. By living all the time with this understanding, one starts getting a higher understanding about the existence of the whole creation. With this understanding, one will become a miraculous creator. Then, whatever one speaks, it manifests. Whatever one thinks, it manifests. Whatever one does, it becomes a creation. This is enlightenment.